The hot consumer inflation data this week fueling talk of if the Fed should cut, cut rates at all this year as opposed to when. For more on this, we want to bring in Mark Lipschultz. He is co-chief executive officer of Blue Owl Capital. That's an alternative assets firm and a leading player in the private capital space with $165 billion in assets under management. And, uh, Mark, thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Always good to be here. So this idea this week that really kicked into high gear with the markets, that maybe the Fed's not going to be cutting rates so soon, maybe rates will be higher for longer, that's pretty good news for you based on what you do. For what we do, it is. Look, our products, our business is built around stability, predictability, inflation protection. At the end of the day, our largest business, direct lending, is a floating rate business. So the, the higher for longer is beneficial to our investors. Uh, it's also really what our products are built for, which is to insulate investors from this type of uncertainty. I recall you know, I had the privilege of being here about a year ago, and we had this very conversation. And at that time, you know, people were talking about seven rate cuts. And we're sitting where, where we sat then and sit now inflation is a sticky animal and so how do you protect yourself from that and that's one of the things our products are built to do i mean those are that's similar to what we heard from jamie diamond this morning with jp morgan results just this idea that inflation is sticky um not convinced that we can bring it down quite as quickly how do you prepare for that what, what sort of areas do you all play in that allows protection for that so where we participate most directly that really serves the investor well. Look, at the end of the day, it's about how do we deliver a result that's good for the investor. Direct lending, clearly floating rates, so direct pass-through of interest rates to investors. And so we've seen a benefit over this. We may be the only people that woke up this week and saw this hot print and said, well, that's good news <laughs> from the point of view of our investor group. You would think uh, the same with some of <laughs> the financials, too, though, because yeah. they do make more money in net interest income as a result of these things. What happens if inflation breaks and we do start to get rate cuts? How does that change the environment? I imagine we will at some point, right? We're, we, I, I can't predict the course of interest rates that I'm sure of. We can look at micro data. We can look at, we have 350 companies in our portfolio. So we certainly have a lot of information to work from to see what's really happening on the ground. And what we have been seeing for this past year and continue to see is inflation is still in place. We're still seeing a lot of pressure on wages. We're still seeing the companies raise prices and prices to their customers. So eventually inflation will ease. Certainly it's eased from where it was and inflation will come down and presumably rates will moderate. And again, the power of at least our product and our approach is when you invest with our products, you're not trying to pick the answer to that. You're not trying to pick the time or the exact place. We do have a floating rate product. It's true. Returns will moderate when rates moderate. What's the environment for the companies, all those operating companies that you're talking about? If inflation is an issue, my guess is consumer demand is still pretty strong, though, too, and, and on the business front. The economy is in a favorable place. I, I think it's safe to say from, from where I sit, the economy is a lot stronger than I would have thought. Sitting going back a year, the economy is still quite robust. We're seeing it in demand. I mean, there's certainly reasons to be a little cautious on the consumer. We see some consumer behavior getting a little more tepid. But in total, where? At, well, in total, I think what we're seeing with consumers is just a little more caution on discretionary spending. It's, it's not meaningful in terms of impact, but if there's a place to watch, I think we obviously, of course, we all keep an eye on the consumer behavior. But in total, when we look at the 350 companies, we are not seeing any meaningful indicators of an economic slowdown.